It seems I'm just not cut out to be a farmer. In the last two weeks, we've had two attempts at seed population mapping. One of the drone applications that apparently can be achieved without using a special sensor. So far, it's drones nil, farm two. I think the answer is simple. I'm being impatient. I need to wait until the plants are a little taller. From the first flight, my farmer friend Steve took the same gap in the weather as I took. I was walking the field, counting plants at the same time. My plan was to fly an area of about 11 hectares at a low enough altitude that would allow a resolution of at least 2.5 centimetres a pixel. That is a requirement of data mapper from precision hawk and its counting algorithm i flight plan in drone deploys that quite simply because of all of them out there i like it the most bonus feature as they all are though it's free to use as always the area seen is larger than planned because of the overlap all around in this case it ended up being around 17 hectares flown at a resolution so the software tells me of 2.35 centimeters pixel the drone took 380 photos as soon as i arrived on site i realized my journey might have been in vain the plants had only just popped out of the ground they're between two and five centimeters in length and just single stalks a very big ask for a camera to see them from 50 meters away so i wrote about this fail in SES news and had an email from somebody that said if i tried to fly lower they might yet be able to do the count two days later i flew again generating 428 images at 1.29 centimeters a pixel being much lower i only managed 10 and a bit hectares this flight showed up a schoolboy error on my part i rushed to fly early in the calm of the morning and this meant that trees to the east cast long shadows over one side of the field. The folks that emailed me have the images, but as a layman, I still can't see the plants in the images, so the software would have to work hard to see anything. I thought I would try a bigger area with the Phantom using the battery swap option in Drone Deploy, something I've not yet used. Now, last week, the Phantom 4 Pro came out with a much better camera. I'm sure better able to pick up the emerging seeds and 30 minutes of flight time. Of course, as always, flight times are generally less than advertised. But if it's 25 minutes, that's still 10 more than I'm happy to fly with the P3P. Put some rough numbers on that. At one centimetre resolution, it's 10 hectares versus 17. Quite a difference. So do I want a Phantom 4 Pro and more than one battery now? Of course I do.